one action. Obviously, you guys talk about intensity and craft. It's a little bit different this week. Um, a little bit. Uh, I think it's just everyone knows uh, what's to come. So uh, uh, a lot of fun and good energy in the building. And uh, obviously, today was a fun day. So. Well, what's fun about it? What energy is that in? Yeah, just knowing that you're gonna be playing someone else and. Uh, kind of get to go against someone else, I guess that's a, a great feeling knowing, you know, we, we've kind of been going against each other all summer, so. How different is this feeling than this week last? Different uh, in many ways, but I think just time in general, you know, and uh, kind of new team, same goals, stuff like that. Uh, I think uh, the, the energy is just uh, Always great in, in the beginning of the year, just with everyone fresh and, and ready to go. So, any more comms to kind of know what to expect to a certain extent, as far as not being new to Oklahoma. And all that. For sure, a, a little more uh, confidence, preparation, uh, just knowing what to expect. Um, but I think that's for everyone, uh, just knowing you know how how we do what we do uh, every day. So. Every team's different. How's the energy for this different? Just. I know. I think everyone's just focused, locked in, and, and no. Uh, what we were set out to do um, and I think that uh, just kind of energy rubs off on everyone and um, it, it's, it's good for us going into week one. Dylan, I asked Jeff earlier today about the in-game communication between you two and how that's grown. We've yep. done it a lot now. Yep. How has it evolved from the very start at UCF to, to where you are now? Just more in-depth conversations. I think, you know, my freshman year, very simple, kind of can't really explain what, what I was seeing, but now I guess me just being able to be more complex and get things changed a little faster. Um, and then likewise, just when we get out there, just having another coach on the field, you know, being able to be that voice for the boys, um, being able to see everything and relay that over just so we're on the same page. Is there anything you learned last year or maybe ways where that became elevated last year when, when you were reunited, but also a bit older, a bit more experienced? Yeah, I think uh, as time went on and then as I, you know, have, have played a little more football, just knowing how to communicate and then as the season went on as well, uh, just being on the same page. But like I said, going into you know the off season in January to now, uh, just more in-depth conversations. Jeff used the word dominant today, mm -hmm. talking about what he expects from you. Yep. And he used uh, the word uh, championship level. Yep. How do you feel about that? Those words, yeah. I mean, words matter. Yeah, for sure. Uh, it's it's what I came here to do. You know, it's uh, you know getting outside of your comfort zone and trying to get to a level that. Uh, you know, you always want to be at. So for me, it's, it's high expectations, but also something I, I really want to achieve. So it's all a part of it. Has it felt like that during camp? This camp, has it felt like you've had a dominant camp and you're on the verge of a championship level, that kind of thing? Does it, you look back on the past month, do you feel that? Yeah, I feel like we, you know, as a, as a unit, just we're very uh, crisp and clean in what we do. And uh, I think whenever you have that kind of camp, it just relays over the season. But, you know, this is a, a game of doing and performance, so uh, got to go out there and prove it as well. Is there anything specific you're looking for the offense to prove that you guys are kind of moving in the right direction early on? I think as, as we kind of went into fall camp, it was everything, you know, just trying to get better at every single thing we, we have on the table, whether it's, you know, normal down situational football or, you know, too many situations, just putting ourselves in those situations as much, much as possible. And I think the coaches did a good job at it. What's your best advice for Jackson who gets ready first week of actually preparing for the Yeah, just, uh, uh, I, I think he knows what to do in, in the learning process of, of growing. Uh, but he's been in it since January, so he's been able to, you know, know the process of getting ready for a, a spring game, but also a game, and uh, just how we lead up into it. Obviously, Braden was a big part of the offense last year. How's that relationship with the tight ends kind of building over the, over the camp and stalling that group? Really good. Um, that's something we've been working on, you know, all season, uh, and I'm excited to go, you know, make it happen and, and see what's to come. But I think that's just for everyone and in the offensive unit, you know, uh, the skills in general, just uh, working at it, but excited to go, you know, put it to work. Stockner's got experience and productivity as a starting uh, starting tight end. Mm -hmm. um, the, the second guy is always seems to be a pivotal one, you know, whether you're going jumbo or you're moving him around. Yep. How does how's that position developed or how's that spot developed for that position? Yeah, I think uh, all tight ends did a really good job. We got a we got a deep tight end room, so um, that's really good for Coach Finley and you know the guys just being able to learn from from Stog, but also uh, take advantage of every opportunity. You know, getting better, and I think they've done a great job of it. Just you know how 
like I said, crisp and clean they've been. So uh, excited to see everyone go put it to work. Jeff talked this morning about just having more depth at quarterback maybe allows you to be more free at times. Last year you guys didn't have a ton of depth. Do you feel that, that you can maybe do a little bit more since you do have, I guess, more people behind you? Uh, i just say it, in general you can do more when you got uh, – you know, a lot of guys being able to yeah. contribute. Um, but I think that just comes together being in year two and everyone knowing the system just allows you to go more in depth in, in what you already know and then uh, try some new things. It's not a football question, Dylan, but a group of speakers you've had come in this month. Yeah. Keith Jackson, Bob Wills, and some of the other guys. Anyone that really resonated with you? Man, for the most part, I think just every alumni that comes in here, uh, just seeing how you know special this place was to them and uh, Obviously, being in the same for us, uh, just the tradition, the history, it's really cool to have people come back that, you know, you obviously do it at a high level, um, being able to watch it and, and hear from them themselves. Um, it's just, it's, it's super cool and kind of full circle. So uh, just being able to experience that, um, it, it was great from, from both of those guys. Well, I don't think we've talked to you since Maui happened, have we? Yeah. So um, we have, did I miss it? No, we no, haven't. I just wanted to get your thoughts on that, about the people in Maui and yeah. the losses that were suffered there. For yeah, just just super sad. Uh, just had some family over there and, and friends that, you know, I knew uh, from a young age, just losing their house and their business. Um, but just it's, it's a sad deal, and um, it's tough, you know, knowing uh, people like that, but just the people that are going through it. But, um, you know, praying for them, but also knowing Hawaii's a special place and, and very strong, and I'm, I'm proud to be from there, you know, and uh, just uh, praying for them and, you know, hope everyone, you know, does the same and just shows as much love as they can. You've involved yourself in the community at your local high school and in yeah. your town. Yeah. Any thoughts about doing that with Maui? Or? For sure. Uh, just something a part of it. I just, I love, you know, Hawaii and I know the tight-knit family and just the people there and uh, what they're about. So uh, I would love to and something I'm definitely going to do for in the, in the future, for sure. How old are you? 22? 22. 22. Yes, sir. How old were you when you played your first game, very first football game? Ballpark, and if you know, 18. How old? 18. 18? Yep. You never first. played before high school? Oh, you're saying the first, first football Oh, I think it's the first Not college, college game. Oh, my first football game. Yeah. Uh, probably when I was seven I was or eight. Say, that, we got a story here. No, no, no. no. Wait a minute. Probably seven or eight, like uh, playing flag football. Flag football. Yep. Do you have any remembrance of you the first time you stepped on a field for that game? I do. Flag football wasn't uh, too butterfly -ish just because, you know, it's, it's flag football. But I remember uh, my first uh, Pearl City Chargers game when I was uh, my first tackle game against IAL. So just I remember that game, and it was, it was a great game. So. How old was that? Nine, I believe. What, you, what were you called? The what? Pearl City Chargers. Pearl City Chargers. Yes, sir. Where was this? This was in Hawaii. Okay. Yep. With friends, or did you just sign up for an organization? I signed you on a team. My dad signed up, uh, signed me up for a team. Uh, I was begging to play football, and then you know he signed me up, and then it was that until up until here. So. Yeah. What position were you? Do you remember? I played a bunch. I played a little running back, uh, but you know, at a certain point, I, I started quarterback, and then you know, that's what I've been playing ever since. How does that happen? How does a coach, whatever, put you at quarterback? Just uh, I remember we had a competition who could throw it the farthest, and then <laughs> I ended up doing it. So then I ended up being the quarterback, and then, like I said, until now. So you, you ran the something? fastest, you'd be the running back or something. Something like that, and then whoever had the best hands played receiver. So. Were you, but, were you doing some of the tackling back then? I was. I played a little DN, what? you know, in Hawaii. I played a little DN. I played a little uh, safety, but, <laughs> you know, uh, that's just because we only had maybe 22, 23 kids yeah. on the team. So I had to play both ways. Any quarterbacks that you liked watching as a kid? I, I don't know if you were. How old were you when Colt Brennan was playing at Hawaii? I don't know how old I was, but I remember going to the games yeah. with Devon Bess and uh, A.J. Green and uh, – just Jeremiah, or no, not Jeremiah, shoot. Uh, they had Isaiah Woosley at quarterback. They had, they had a bunch of guys. They had another lefty, Schroeder, I think. Yeah. So, you know, I was I was very uh, aware of the Hawaii football went to a bunch of games. But Cole Brennan definitely was the, the GOAT back, back at home. Yeah. Sir. Forgive me if you've been asked this, right? But just 
what have you seen from Jack sort of since the spring to now? Just growth in general, you know, learning and uh, getting older. But for the most part, just uh, you know, time spent in the building. I think I think the most growth happens during that time. You know, you kind of leave high school early and, and come to college. So um, just the growth in general, how he talks, and then being able to come out and know what we're doing day, day to day. So. Dylan, how do you feel about your court, your offense going into this first game? I feel really good. You know, I, I feel confident in our guys and uh, everyone contributing, and um, just excited to you know finally play someone else and put all the the work to you. So I'm excited for that and can't wait to step out there. You know, everybody talked about the inexperience of receiver losing Marvin and things yep. like that. Your thoughts on that core going yep. into this first game? A lot of opportunity for them, and uh, you know, I think they're very prepared and excited for the moment and opportunity as well. So, um, like I said, just putting all that work. You know, getting all that work in the off season and putting it to use is, is something that uh, we're excited to do. So. You feel like you have playmakers like Marvin and guys that can go get them? I do. Young guys that are, you know, may not have played as much football, but guys that can uh, do a lot of things that are, are very talented as well. So uh, uh, excited, like I said, to, to watch them go at it and go play some more. Man, I'm just I'm, I'm excited uh, to play ball. I think uh, you know from that that last game to now is something we've been very eager to step back on that field and um, play ball. So it's you know ball is ball. It's 11 on 11, and can't wait to go do it. You know, I saw your social media post. It was pretty cool. Yes, sir. But do you feel like people don't really know you or don't know who you are as a college football player? I mean, you you, know, you put up huge numbers so yeah. far in your career. Uh, Man, it's just at the end of the day, it's it's a game of doing and a game of winning. So um, that's what I'm, I'm set out to do. And you know, with the guys we got, it's, it's something that we've been super focused on and been emphasis for sure. Uh, just winning the day, winning the rep, whatever it is, uh, just finding a way to win. So um, that's that's my my main focus and and something I've put on a huge emphasis on for me as well. I like it. it was pretty cool what you did. Oh, you helped to put it together? Or did, how did you come up with the idea and the design? Just, you know, I met some great people in the community. Um, have a, a connection to Mustang High School as well. Uh, just shout out to all those people that you know, helped out, Keaton, Waleed, and um, just everyone that uh, made it come together. I'm just super grateful for that. Excited to get back to playing in the stadium right here. I am like like I was kind of saying, just uh, eager to get on the field, and I think that eagerness came from even last year. Uh, so uh, a long eight months of, of waiting, but uh, just eager to get out there and play ball and uh, go do it. So is it going to be about soaking up these moments? I mean, you know, here last year, just getting to play in front of these fans and everything. Yeah, I think uh, everyone's just kind of going, you know, trying to trying to make life happen and, and uh, you know, we don't always, you know, stop and, and take it all in and uh, trying to do a good mixture of both, you know, uh, prepare and, and work really hard at it, but enjoy it as well. So thank you guys. Appreciate it.